Glass of orange juice in the morning, too much to ask for. Baby, I'm sorry, I, I didn't realize we were out. I, I'll go, I can go to the store right now, I'll go get some. Just, can you come sit me up? Didn't you just get this, like, two months ago? They bring all this life and energy to this building. Girl, please. <laughs> They're like little demons. I feel like we up here with baby's kids. Mm -hmm. Got no respect for nobody or nothing. Cut your ass out in a minute and you say some of the words. <laughs> yes, indeed. I had to make a little switch. <laughs> What's up, ladies? Hey, hey, man. Hey, I'm Helen. What y'all doing out here? Son. Just little plops. How was work? Oh, work was good. Work was good. Uh, look, I'm gonna need you to make yourself scarce. I got company coming through. Of course you do. Ladies, I've gotta go. I'll see you later. I've got some laundry waiting on me. All right, Nancy. She got something waiting on her, all right, and it ain't no damn laundry. She barely gave him time to get up the stairs. <laughs> oh, Nancy? Ben? No. Girl, where you been? Nancy and Ben. Oh, no, I ain't trying to hear that. She's married. Hmm. Hell, he is fine. How much you want to bet that little Benny comes hardtailing about it any minute with a funky attitude? Hey, girls. How's everybody? Married to that evil man. Uh, honey, he told my husband he would have never married her if he had known she was gonna gain all that weight. What? Mm-hmm. Honey, my husband looked at him like he was a fool. Well, if he loved her, a few pounds shouldn't make a difference. And y'all call me naive. Well, 
Well, good morning, Benny. Good morning. That's what I have to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, girl. I could get used to this. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, hold on, that's my dad. Let me see what he's talking about. My apartment won't be ready for another few days. Do you mind if I stay here a little longer? Stay as long as you want. Okay, cool. But Rodney's coming over tonight. Oh, girl, I do not know what you see in him. Because it's not about seeing. It's about feeling. And trust me, when it comes to Rodney, I feel a whole lot. It's nasty. See, you nasty. You uh -uh. think I'm tripping. <laughs> but haven't you ever been with somebody that just took you straight to ecstasy? Every woman has that one. You know what I mean. Every woman has that one. You know, that one guy that no matter when he calls or what you're doing, you're going to answer that phone. That one guy who can take you there. And he really doesn't have to try. Who is that? Lord have mercy, Bertha, do you see him? Of course I see him. I may be old, but I'm not good. I'm not damn he's fine. Oh, Jesus. I don't want my tickets back home. I'm getting out of here. You uh, need a hand? Yeah, man. Appreciate that. Oh, okay. Oh. Oh. Hurt yourself. Oh. I'm up on right upstairs, 3B. Excuse me. How you letting me go? It's all right, man. I appreciate you helping me out, man. And when we're all done, I'll throw you a few bucks. Uh, you don't have to do that, Mr. Graham. <laughs> oh, and uh, everybody calls me Benny. My pops is Ben. Okay. All right, Miss Nelly. Here is my homemade sweet tea. You're welcome, Benny. Mm. Oh, where have you been? We just saw our new neighbor, and honey, he is mm. No, he is perfection. Girl, that man got my circulation going on in places that I nearly forgot about. Oh, please. <laughs> I mean, y'all need to stop exaggerating. Is any man really all that? Okay, well, he's moving on your floor, so you shall see. But be careful, girl, because what's upstairs is smoking hot. And if you get too close, you might catch fire. Y'all need to quit. I have a husband. And that's enough, man, for me. Now let me get in these groceries. You like in that TV, huh? You look pretty studious, though, man. You uh, you think you can help me out with some of this stuff? My boys hooked me up with all this electronic equipment, but I have no idea how to put it all together. Dude, you have a touchscreen TV. You got surround sound speakers, an Xbox, a PlayStation, a multi-room receiver, a state-of-the-art computer, man. They hooked you up with some gear. Yeah. I would love to hook this up for you. Yeah? Yeah, of course. Okay. Uh, where are all the um, cables and power cords? Uh, oh, you know what? Damn. They're in the truck. I'll run down and just grab these real quick. I'm gonna leave the door open. I'll have my key. Hey, how you doing? Need some help? Oh, hi. Oh, hi. No, 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 no. I'm fine. Thank you. Uh huh. Oh. You all right? I'm okay. I'm sorry. A little windy. Took the stairs. I'm <laughs> getting right. more active. And I must have overdone it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Who's oh, trying to be more active? I must have overdone it. Uh, did I say that twice? I think so. Um, <laughs> I mean, I think a woman that takes care of herself is really impressive. Although, between you and me, everything looks like it's exactly where it's supposed to be. Uh, <laughs> hey, hey, bro, girl, hey. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm Daryl, Daryl Graham. We must be neighbors. Oh, uh, hey, Connie. Connie Graham, nice to meet you. Oh, Graham, too, huh? What, we cousins? No, no, did I say Graham? I didn't mean to say Graham. My name is Mac. My name is Connie. Connie Mac. I'm sorry. No, no, I'm sorry. I thought this was funny with me. No problem. Of course not. Well, uh, 
And let's meet. Let's see you around. Absolutely. See you around. Jerry. Yes, sir. I need you to file this inventory for me, please. Absolutely. All right. Avery, got my eye on you. I don't know why you still playing <laughs> games. You know you feel me. There was definitely something about you that is attractive. I'll admit it. But then why am I still being relegated to the bench when you know I should be hitting a home run? Because I keep the books here, Avery. And we both know that you don't make enough to afford a mistress and a wife. <laughs> you want to hit a home run with me? Get rid of your wife. How you doing? Oh, good. How you out here working out? Yeah. See, it's about getting in shape, huh? No, I'm really trying to save my marriage, so I'm just kind of working out, you know? I can help. Wait, wait, wait. You talking about, like, being my personal trainer or something? Hey, look, <laughs> I get it in now, every day. I mean, this sounds great, but things at home were tight, so I can't afford that right now. You could. Right? <laughs> okay, well... <laughs> Every Friday, you make me a plate in exchange for my services. I, I can do that. That's cool. So look, we get in right now, all right? We start the day right here, right now. Let's go. We're about to jog this next quarter mile. Uh, yeah, no, oh, come on, put the top back on. Uh, Let's go. Let's go. What's cooking, good looking? And aren't we in a good mood today? It's because I've been thinking about you all day. Mm. Hey, how about we hook up and talk about it over dinner tomorrow? Look, Avery, mm -hmm. you're sweet and charming and all those good things. But I told you before, I'm looking for a man who's a little more stable. Mm -hmm. Someone equipped to handle a high-maintenance woman like me. Well, you're looking at me. <laughs> Your game is all right, but you're just a salesman. Now, I could deal with a wife, but what I can't deal with is empty pockets. Mm, so you must not have heard, huh? Mm. Dave's leaving, and I'm going to be the new manager. Yeah. And we're going to uh -huh. be with the big man tomorrow to make it official. Oh, that's fantastic. Uh -huh. Oh, gosh. We might need to celebrate your promotion. Oh, yeah. Hmm. You might even hit a home run. Uh, uh -huh. That's what's up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, so, wait, you know from real here? From Southside. 40 Projects. Whoa. 40 Projects. It's kind of rough over there, ain't it? Ooh. Uh, what about you? Where you from? Oh, um, me and my husband Avery, we're actually from the island. Hmm. We just moved over here a couple years ago when he lost his job in real estate. Oh, I ain't no more. But, uh, you know, he's in sales now. He's working over at, uh, you know, that uh, big furniture store on Jamaica Avenue. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know the place. How's that working out for him? He's still living in the past when we had... BMWs in a big house. He just can't be happy that he has a job. You know what I'm saying? You know, he's not the type of guy to be satisfied with it. <laughs> I'm sorry, because you did not come out here to hear all my problems. Jeez. Can I ask you something? Personal. What does a man really want out of a woman? I don't know. Want her to be loyal? Uh, classy? Sexy, sophisticated, kind, sexy, uh, proud, gentle. Did I say sexy? Yeah, you did. Hey, look, you're getting your sexy back, all right? I mean, personally, I don't, I don't even really think you ever lost it. So. What's up, college boy? Look, you ready to do this or what? I don't have to do that, man. I'm not trying to do that. Much. Yeah, I'm not asking you. I'm telling you. I get your ass in some car. <laughs> Yeah, 
no funny thing about that. <laughs> you know, they have a weapon when you hit your target, but when you miss, they may be open for a world of hurt. Yeah, like the hurt this nigh gonna do when I pull this trigger. You know, it takes a hell of a man to put a pistol to a brother's head in front of 20 witnesses. I'm impressed. But here comes the hard part. You mad enough to pull the trigger? Knowing you're gonna do 20 years of state for murder? You willing to do that kind of time? You sound like you ready to die. You ready to die? We all gonna die someday. The pile and box keeps swimming in the cage. You heard that line somewhere. Are you Daryl Gray? We used to run with my brother Majestic and uh, Vegas Duncan? That would be me. Oh, shit. Yo, this is Daryl fucking Graham. This cat is a hood legend. Fuck, Mr. Graham. Man, I did not know that was you, bro. Had I known, I would never swung that bat at you. It's all right. So now that we know who I am, why don't we lower this gun? I'm sure you got one in the chamber. Oh, yo. Yo, my bad, man. Real talk? Yo, you can have this. Now listen, Benny's my friend and so is his dad. You fucking with them, you fucking with me. Put that out on the street. Yeah, no doubt. No doubt. Look, I'm, I'm sorry, Daryl. Look, don't tell my brother, all right? Look, we didn't know that was your peeps. We just wanted him to bypass on some alarms at the jury store. Take that conversation. No doubt. Look, y'all might want to get going. Sure, five will be in a minute. Somebody's clawed them already. All right, let's go. What the hell was that about? Why'd you let him go? Why'd they attack my son? Maybe you ought to ask your son. I just got here. My son doesn't know any gangbangers, but you sure as hell do. I'm from my old neighborhood. Sounds like you got quite a rep there. It's a rep I'm trying to leave behind me, just trying to live my life the best way I can. Come on, Bones. Don't save our lives. Those guys had a bat and a gun. You're right, son. That's Hey, Kareem. I was wondering if you, um, do you have Daryl's number by any chance? Okay, cool. Appreciate it. You know, I was, uh, I was a little surprised when Korean told me you wanted to see me. Do you want to talk about my mistakes from the past or? Here we need you. Join us, please. Oh, of course. Yes. You know Al, right? It's good to see you again, uh -huh. sir.
Well, as you know, I'll be leaving to go to the main office as uh, general manager, and Al wanted me to talk to you about the future of this store and about the smooth transfer of management teams one to the other. Well, first of all, congratulations on the promotion day. This store's loss is the entire company's gain. Secondly, whatever I have to do to make the transition smooth, I'm your guy. Thank you for the kind words, Avery. You have been a, an exemplary worker, a hard worker. And for the record, I referred you to become successor as store manager here. Why, right, thank you, Dave. Uh, Al, step over here, please. Meet Avery, Avery Al Jr. You know, we're gonna need you to uh, continue being a team player. Avery. Well, of course, sir. I'm here for the store, whatever it is. And the key to that is a good management transition. Am I missing something here? Avery, you are a, a valued employee, and you have a long career here at the store. Why do I feel a butt coming on? But for right now, we're going to need you to train my son how to run the store. Excuse me. He's an eager learner. He's quick study. It's not going to take you very long to teach him everything you know. I'm looking forward to working with you. Tell me something, kid. What exactly is a pillow top mattress? And how would you distinguish it from, say, the Posturepedic Salon Plush Euro Top? I... I don't know. Exactly. I know you know this one. What's the difference? attention what's the difference between classical and contemporary furniture your daddy owns the store I know you know that one <laughs> uh, class okay I'm, I'm not really sure to be honest about the but you want to manage a furniture store he's not ready to be the stock boy no that's why you're gonna teach him Avery now that's why you're gonna kiss my black oh, ass oh, Avery no, 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 no. don't do what you know what fuck you Dave hey. fuck you Dave you ain't shit but a Uncle Tom and fuck you too, you four-eyed bastard. I'll smack the fuck out of you. And Al, oh, Al, <laughs> big Al. How long have we been doing this dance, Al? Hmm? Do you remember when you hired me? Do you remember how long you've been promising me I'm gonna get a promotion? You can take this job. And you can shove it up your ass because in case you didn't know, motherfucker! mean you forgive me? Yeah, I forgave you a long time ago. And I still love you. I still love you. <sighs> Besides, we can always have another baby. <laughs> Drink, baby. No, thanks. I'm good, baby. Well, I tell you, another shot for me. No more for him after this. What? Man, shut up and give me my shot. <laughs> Everything a man could ever want in life. You've been my whole life, girl. I've been waiting for you, daddy. <laughs> yes, you have. <laughs> oh, oh, no, oh, no. get a dance on the house. You're joking, right? No, I ain't joking, girl. I just spent damn near my whole paycheck on your ass. I can't get a free dance. I don't dance for free. I'm working my way through school. Oh, bullshit. You a whore just like the rest of them. Whore? You, you know, don't know what I got no damn bullshit. money. No bullshit, Thank <laughs> you. 
You don't want to do that, brother. How would you know? Because I used to be you. You really don't know shit about me, man. Well, a year ago, I was standing right there where you were about to do the same damn thing. Tell you the truth, I might have been a little bit drunk. Man, the fuck you, man? You don't know shit about what I've been through. Well, I just lost my job when I was about to jump. My wife left me six months before. Some idiot repossessed my piece of shit car. My house was in foreclosure five months prior to that. Any of that sound familiar to you? Maybe. But you don't look like you're doing so bad now. What's that? What's that, Bentley or something? Well, that's a Bentley GT Coupe. Well, I'm happy for you. <laughs> well, you can have one if you want. <laughs> You wake me. It's Saturday. Where are you going? To handle my shit. Good morning. Good morning. Look at you. You waiting on that man like a junkie needing a fix. And you had the nerve to talk about me. Where is Mr. Wonderful anyway? Girl, I'm checking right now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Girl, he is on his way. I gotta go be ready. You do that. Oh, there he is. I'm glad to see that you've taken me up on my offer. Ladies, this is Avery Mack. Nice to meet you. You want a drink? Yeah, uh, Jack and Coke, sure. <laughs> this is... This is all you? Like your style, King. Would you believe a year ago I was exactly like you were last night? Totally disgusted with my life and ready to end it? Bet you got all of this in a year. How? Would you ladies excuse us? Why don't we go over here? Sit down. You know, you've already taken the first step when you climbed down from that bridge. I'm listening. I live by this philosophy. It's simple. All you have to do is leave everything negative in your life behind at that bridge. The same energy you put into dying is the same energy you put into living. You look a little bit perplexed. Well, how does this work exactly? I live like I'm dying. Hey. Hey, Daryl. 
Crystal's not here. She got tired of waiting for you, so she went back to the city. Don't you mean she's not here? She knew I was coming over? I guess she thought you stood up. I would let you in, but I got a little something going on in here. Yo, I've been blowing her up. She's not answering the phone. You, you, you here to talk to her? I'm sure she'll call you. Look, Daryl, I gotta get back in there. Okay. Okay. Hey, look. Tell her to call me. Okay. For sure. talk to you. Con no, 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 come on. Con no, come on. Uh, okay, I need a break. <sighs> Do you have any idea how good you like me? Tell me again. I can show you better than I can tell you. How are you going to do that? And don't peek either. Okay, I'm not looking. Uh, you know what you're trying. No, my, I'm, look, my eyes are closed. You've been alone the whole time. No. <sighs> you know I always got what you need. Right? Daddy always got what I need. <sighs> you know what? So this is, this is me. Crystal, I love you. I want to make an honest woman out of you. Even went down to your old man's job and asked him if I could have your hand. No, you didn't. What did he say? He said, it's your call, but if you said yes, he said he'd be proud to have me as a son-in-law. No. Yes, no, yes. So, look at me. Look at me. Will you marry me? Of course I will. Oh my God, you know how long I've been waiting for this? Put it on, put it on, put it on. I want to see what it looks like. Oh my God. You're beautiful. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. What is it we need to talk about? Okay, excuse me. Come on, come on. Excuse me. Connie, there's no easy way to say this. I want a divorce. Did you just say you want a divorce? Divorce. I want a divorce. You an asshole. Did you, couldn't you have said that before I just... Connie, we need to talk. Where are you going? I'm going to our bedroom so I can get the gun and blow your fucking head off. Let me know when I can get the rest of my stuff. You should have seen him run up out of here. I don't know what that poor girl is. Yo, 
Chris is Daryl. He just moved in. Cool. Daryl, it's Chris. Where are you been? What are you doing there? Are you at no job? Yeah, but Chris, I guess I'm proud that you're cool, but I do the deserve it. Look, I don't know how you found me, but you cannot be here right now, okay, Daryl? You gotta go. What do you mean? You gotta leave. Leave where? Woman, I live here. You can't live here. I live here. Hey, baby, do me a favor. Take this up there. I gotta figure it. Excuse me. Excuse me. Look, Dan, please. I don't want any trouble. Christmas is up. Hey, let's go get this Chinese food right now. Remember Shorty I was telling you about out at the beach? Yeah, the one that disappeared. Well, I found it today. It was Crystal. Get the hell out yeah, of here. Nah, man. I don't even know Crystal got down like that. I'm trying to tell you, man. Whoa. Well, hold on. She's been with Slim for over a year now. Are you serious? Yeah. You know what? She probably started messing with him right around the time she got rid of my baby, fake ass. Oh, kid. hey, hey, hey. Come on, man. You, you're bigger than that. Don't go there. My bad. You're right. You're right. You're right. Listen to you. Not even 21 yet. Here you are giving me grown man advice. <laughs> Man, no matter what, I got your back. I love you, man. Seriously. Love you too, man. Got somebody who got my back. You all right? Want to pour some steam and play some Madden or something? Down for an ass whooping. Come on, man. Are you kidding me? Do it to you wrong. Yes, bro. I'm going to fire it up right now. I'm going to fire it up right Get now. Get ready to take this ass whooping. I'm going to fire this up. you going to get it. I'm about to get all up in you. But to pull your pants down and bend you over and call mm -hmm. your hands. Right, right. Hey, man, why you in there? Grab that hot sauce for me. Good book. Huh? You read this? It's actually quite informative. This is about gay men who lead double lives? Uh, you know, mostly. But uh, there's actually a lot more to it than that. You should read it and read it with open minds. You'll be speaking a lot of truth. So what's up? You ain't getting that ass whooped in his man? Oh, oh, um, no, I, um, Oh, come on, man. What's wrong? You no. Know, what's, what's the part? You afraid I'm going to get that ass up? No, what? No, man. Come on. Come on. All right, yeah. I just, yeah. just got to go, all right? Yeah. Look, yeah. um, I'm going to check you later, all right? All right. All right, all right. All right. All right. Tell your dad I said what's up. Hey, son, where you been? Uh, Daryl, I'm gonna get some Chinese food. Uh, I got some chicken and broccoli left if you want some. No, I'm good. Nancy's bringing me by a plate later. You looking forward to your birthday tomorrow? Yeah, looking forward to you buying my first drink tomorrow night. Yeah, right. About that. Um, look, I was trying to get somebody to cover for me at the firehouse, but I can't get out of my shift tomorrow night. Come on, come on, Pops. I mean, we've been talking about this since I was, what, 16 years old? No, I know. We can do it this weekend. Why don't you and Daryl go out tomorrow night? Daryl? Yeah, maybe I was wrong about it. You know, all these girls around here, you could use a guy friend. Yeah, um, well, I'm gonna give you some money. Uh, you know, good time. You know, gotta have a good time. It's my treat. Come on. Where you been, honey? Jesus, Avery, you scared the shit out of me. Sorry, I didn't mean to. God, I'm just glad you're home. How have you been? I don't know what happened between us, but we can make this. We can make it. I, I'm just, I'm sorry, Connie, but I didn't come here to make up, okay? I 
can you get this and to give you this? What's this? Avery. Come on, you don't have to do this. You made your point. Look, I'm sorry, honey, but nothing's changed. I've already lost five pounds. Look, why don't you look the papers over, Connie? I think you'll see I'm being fair in what I'm willing to give you. Give me? The judge will probably make me pay your broken. What? I didn't mean to say that. I didn't mean that. Look, I'm working out every day, and I've already lost five pounds. I can fit my ring again. I can be that sexy woman that you had before. I promise. Now, I think you're about a day late and 50 pounds short for that one. Look, next time I see you, I want those papers signed. You know what? If you want out, I'm going to give it to you. But it's going to cost you. How much? $20,000, motherfucker. $20,000. Done. It'll be worth it to get rid of your fat ass. Fuck you! Asshole. Hello, are you all right? Him. Sick of his shit. Was that Avery? Zen. You know what that dude is a fool. He don't, he don't get his shit together soon. Somebody's gonna take his place. I know we're both in a vulnerable place in our lives right now, but... went clothes shopping and went out to lunch, but uh, he couldn't get off work, so I um, couldn't take a drink tonight. Oh, man, I'm sorry to hear that. I know, I know you were really looking forward to that. But um, since he can't come, I was hoping that you can join me. I mean, it's my 21st birthday. I don't want to be watching Call of Duty in the apartment. You know what? I wish I could, little bro. But uh, Look, man, you ain't got so many to pull, okay? I just thought that we were friends. And well, we are friends. It's just not that simple. Trust me, if it's up to me... We'd already be on our way. I don't get it, dude. Why is it you lying to me? Yo, I'm not lying to you. Look, you, you really want to know why I can't go? You really want to know? Yeah, Daryl. Why can't you go drink with me tonight? That's why I can't go. What the hell is that? It's a damn ankle monitor. Courtesy of... New York State Department of Corrections. I can't even leave the building after 8 o'clock. Well, that thing looks pretty archaic to me. I mean, I could have that off for five minutes without detection if you wanted me to. Yeah, right. Yeah, you and me both would be having bologna sandwiches at Rikers in the morning. No, I'm an electrical engineering major at NYU, top of my class. I can have this thing off and dismantle it in five minutes with my eyes closed. All I have to do is bypass the signal, take it off, and then just make sure it's up to a phone line. No bullshit. You can do that? 
in my sleep. That's basic. Let's go. I want to raise the roof. I want to raise the roof. I want to raise the roof. Up, up in the air. It's a flash. We in the club with two chicks. Talking shit glasses. We about to do this. Champagne doubling. Double life juggling. Running with the ball. You ain't never catch me fumbling. Uh, I'm sipping on some rock. Uh, I'm loving this shot. Uh, I got a climb to the top. I'm not looking back. I'm not going to the block. You know they say it's supposed to rain today. Yeah. Oh, you gotta be careful. I might not ever leave. No, go ahead and get this little baby. Be right here waiting for you. Okay? Yeah. 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 Speaking of what you need, I thought you might like this. I see he treats you pretty good. Remember, a good man is hard to find. Especially when you got too old. Hey, we need to talk. We don't need to talk. Right? Actions speak louder than words. Say, louder than words. I know, I know, I'm, I, I was wrong. And I'm sorry about the way things went down, okay? You know, that's why we need to sell some crown rules. Crown rules for what, Crystal? Me and you. There is no me and you. There could be. You know, Slim is going a lot of the time, and you only live upstairs, so. Hey, hey, hey look, just stop, all right? Maybe you ain't heard, but I ain't nobody's jump off. He can have you. Crystal. Crystal, what the hell is going on? Amber, get the fuck off of me, baby. Did you just see that? He just tried to grab me. Hold on, what? Yo, I did not try to grab Crystal. You disrespecting her, man? You trying to rape her? Hold on, I ain't trying to rape her. Don't even use that word. Baby, kick his ass. Don't let him do it. Get your damn ass. Come on, PJ. Hey, get your hands off of me. You tried to attack her. Bullshit, I did not try to attack her. This ain't worth it. If he did what you said, let's just call the police. Look, I did not try to rape that girl. How am I raping with, with my bag of mail in my hand? Now, he got a point there. It just ain't adding up. Come on, baby. Let's just go. Okay? No, what is wrong with that? That's cocaine. I thought you was done with that shit. It ain't mine. See that? Lying about the cocaine just like she lied about me. This ain't over. Let's just go inside and part of it. Shut up! Ain't never a dull moment around here. Miss Bertha, we gonna be hot. Nice game. Great. Oh, sexy little lady. I can get used to this game. It's good. Three women, girl. You'll be able to afford your own. You think so? There you are. What is this? Your money. Six jobs, and we took us $640,000. By the end of the year, we should have close to a million dollars in there. Oh, wait, so we're not just going to divide it up like we did before? I recognize that you're a novice at this, but you can't exactly have that kind of cash in America without Uncle Sam noticing it. I keep all of my money offshore in the Cayman Islands. I did the same for you. But if you want to be stupid and liquidate it, that's on you. No. It's the difference between being rich and being wealthy. <laughs> you doing? You okay? It's Benny, okay? How many years have you come out here and my name? I know your name, Benny. I'm sorry. Yeah. You alright? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. I just, uh, 
Me and Benny just had it out. About what? You know, after that fight I broke up in the lobby, I told him that I didn't want him hanging out with the guy in 3B anymore. You know, that guy is bad news. I don't want him hanging out with my son. Look, after I told him to stay away from Daryl, he said, how the hell am I going to give him advice when I'm running around with a married woman whose husband still lives in the building? I don't see what that is any of his business. Look, my job is to set the right example for him. And how can I do that when I'm kicking him out every afternoon to be with you? You are a damn good father. I wish to God I could have your children. You mean that? Did you say that? Yes. You want to have kids? Of course, yes. I mean it. Okay, let's have some kids. Oh, you can't have kids right now. I mean... It's time that you leave your husband. He doesn't want to have kids. We do. I, you deserve to be happy. I can't just leave Charles. You can't or you won't. I can't. Sweet. Why don't you go? You don't mean that. Please, just, just go. So in your mind, what's going on? Katie didn't come home again. I don't know what else to do. So now I'm here to uh, finish what you started the other day. What do you mean, what I started? They say it's easy to make a second fortune and a first. Crystal isn't here, Abe. I didn't come to see my daughter. I came to see her stepmother. Oh, well, I thought you and Bonnie were getting a divorce. Yeah, well, let me get in here and handle my business so I can get back to making this money. You do that. Mm -hmm. If there ever was a man that needed an ass whipping, it's him. Mm -hmm. He's headed where I think he's headed. Well, well, well. Look who got all stiffied up. I'm going to see my wife. Why? You got a problem with that? I'm a friend of Connie's. A good friend. So I hope you didn't come around here to piss her off. Let me tell you something. I don't give a damn about you or your friendship. Connie Mack is still my wife, and I'll come around here pissing her off. Whenever I want. Don't make me tell you again. Or what? You obviously don't know who you're talking to. I've seen plenty of them play. Yeah, but I ain't put it on you. Thank you for waiting while I got freshened up. <laughs> Honey. You look beautiful. Oh, you're so sweet. Honey. Why are you here, Avery? I came to talk to you. Can we go inside? Not going out. Just, just give me a second. I'll be right here. And I'll be right here with my wife. Soon to be ex-wife out here. You never seem like the type of whiff of riffraff. Sure I was. What do you want, Avery? 
Here's your first payment. Where'd you get this? It's part of the bonus for my promotion. It's $10,000. I'll get you the rest soon. I want those papers signed. They're already signed. Good. I can't wait to get rid of your ass. And I want the rest of my money. And all the little fancy clothes in the world would not make you a better man. Now, if you'll excuse me. Yeah, come here, baby. Swear to God. Oh. Hey, man, what's going on? Just gonna call you. you what, what the hell are you doing? You crazy, man? You can't drink that straight. What's wrong with you? My pops was fucking wrong, man. Don't try to tell me what to do. Yeah, I'm sure it can be rough, but listen, man, you're fortunate enough to even have your father. Some of us never did. What are you talking about, man? In my life, man, he's always trying to control my life and everything. You know what I'm saying? He's not even thinking, man. He's thinking part of the Stone Ages. You know what I'm saying? He's trying to hold me back. All right, hold you back from what? He's trying to hold me back from being with you. From being with me? Yeah, man. He's trying to keep us apart, man. Keep us from being together. From being together? What are you talking about, man? Get over here. Whoa, 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 what are you doing, Benny? Listen, man, listen, man, it's just me and you, Daryl. It's just me and you, okay? We can be ourselves. Benny, listen, you're a cool dude. All right, like you a lot. I love you like a little brother, but I'm not into men. I'm into women. Listen, man, you ain't got to hide anymore, okay? Man, I know you go both ways, Daryl. Okay, I've seen the books you had. Those books were because... My little brother came out of the closet last year, and I just wanted to understand what he was going through. That's it, Benny. Hey, 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 hey. Benny? Benny, it's okay. I can't believe this, no, man. No, Benny. are you kidding me? Benny. Fuck, man. Benny. It's cool. Fuck, Benny. Fuck, man. Fuck, man. Fuck, man. Fuck, man. Benny! Sorry to scare you, ma'am. Detective Wilson, NYPD. Searching for Lee Mack. Are you his wife? I am, but he's not at home. Yeah, I know. I have a warrant for your husband's arrest, and if you haven't guessed, we also have a warrant to search the premises. So if I were you, I'd grab a seat. It's going to take a while. Okay, wait, wait. Why, why, why are you even looking for him? Armed robbery. Eight, in fact. He might not do much around here, but he's a very busy man. Here's a list of the items we're impounding. If you could sign at the bottom indicating you received it. Thank you. Anything else? Listen, Connie. If you hear from him, you tell him to turn himself in. Otherwise, things could get messy. this from Avery and now I know where he got it they said that fool's been pulling stick ups eight and all that explains it then. clothes the Bentley the gun he almost pulled on me whoa, whoa. gun you didn't say anything about a gun yeah I ain't worried about that gun I've seen plenty of guns but Avery had that look what kind of look look baby spending the time in the streets you start to be able to recognize who would actually pull the trigger and who won't. He had that look like he had nothing to lose. Well, if he doesn't turn himself in, if the cops so much as said that they would, they said they would kill him. I gotta call him. I don't know. Definitely don't pick up the phone. They probably already got him tapped. There's no way I'm letting them snatch you up for Aiden and the baby. So just, just chill. Let me handle this. Yo, you look like shit, man. 
Please tell me you ain't doing that shit. You gotta go. You can't be here, okay? Go. All right. Well, I just came to let you know you should call your dad and tell him the cops are looking for him. Oh, whatever. Go. 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 Right. Go. Hey, just get out. Get go. Go. go before you get out here. Listen. Fine. Whatever you want to do, I don't care. I'm leaving. But just make sure you go and warn him to stay away. Hey, man, what the hell are you doing at my door? I, I just came to deliver a message. Good. I'm going to deliver a message. Go. 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 The way I'm feeling right now, man, I wouldn't suggest you get in my face right now. Mm -hmm. Good. I'll keep it simple, then. You come by here again, and you don't talk to my nine. How about that? Those are big words. You better hope you kill me. I will. Peace offering. Hey, I made your shirt red. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> you can just, just go ahead and leave it. I, um, Ben, look, can we just move past this, baby? All right, I'm gonna miss you. Benny's been gone for three days. I called the cops, but they said I can't file a missing persons report on a 21-year-old. Who did you call all of his friends? He doesn't have any, except Daryl, and he's not there. Okay, what about his social media sites? Check his updates on his status. I, I don't know how to do any of that. Kate! 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 Kate, where you been, man? Hey, hey, Avery, what's up? Kate, man, we gotta get out of sight, man. The cops are on us. I'm miles ahead of you, baby boy. I'm out of the country. What? Oh, you might want to do the same. I'm just saying. Where are you? That's on a need-to-know basis. Man, damn that. Look, I went to the bank and my debit card's not working. Just tell me how to get to my money and you can do whatever the hell you want. Well, what money are you talking about, Avery? The fuck is you talking about, Kane? The money you were supposed to move offshore for me. Maybe you just push the mouse and it leaves. Oh my. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Everything is Daryl this, Daryl that. Listen, it's just a picture. Okay, let's see what we can find. Uh, right there. Benny's blog. It's like a diary. It tells you everything you need to know. All right. Every day my feelings get stronger. I can hardly keep my eyes off of him. What the fuck is this? Sooner or later, one what of the fuck is this? Is this? He's move. trying to steal my son right up from under me. Baby, you don't need this, all right? Now just come on, let's just sleep. I'm gonna kill this mother. I'm gonna kill this son. Wait a minute, honey, come the house. Kill that son of a bitch. Open up this door. Open up the door. Open up. What's going on? I'm not gonna let you do this to me. Get me up, get me up. Hey, calm down. Calm down, Ben. I'll snap your fucking neck. You're better for it's on my son. I'm not gonna let you turn the game. What are you talking about? I'd do anything too, Benny. All right? You might have a hard time accepting this, but your son is gay. You don't want to come with my son? It's not gay. He's not confused. Listen, my son I did not confuse him. All right? Maybe you spend a little bit more time with him this time. be a surprise. You're going to have to accept this fact sooner or later. Benny is gay. You fucking gay. You told him? You told him? You told him this little friend you up in my pocket. doing here? Why are you in my house, Avery? I changed the locks. Too bad you never learned to lock the fire escape window. You know what? I'm warning you. Connie. I'm not playing. Calm down. I just needed to talk to you. Figured the back way was safer. Avery, what have you gotten yourself into? The police are looking all over for you. Is it true? Did you do what this? Don't ask. The less you know, the better. 
You gotta turn yourself in, Avery. They will kill you. I'm leaving the country, Connie. And I want you to come with me. I need you to come with me. But we could go to Jamaica. You remember when we went there? We had a great time, you remember? something I'm gonna need from you first. That money I gave you last week, I need it back. Yes, we lived on the same floor. Did you have any enemies? And why would you ask that? This was a fire, not a drive-by, sir. Because this was no ordinary fire, ma'am. Now, according to the fire marshal, this fire was immediately set, which means this is not only a case of arson, but it's also a murder investigation, right? Okay. Okay, now you said you live on the same floor, right? Did you see anyone or anything out of the ordinary? Not that I can think of. Can I go back into the building now? What's your name? Connie Mack. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I told Joe that boy was up to no good. I know what I'm uh, talking excuse about. Excuse me, ladies. Uh, could my partner and I ask you guys a few questions? Sure. Uh, you ladies look like you know a lot about what goes on around here, huh? Let me see how fair she Okay, well, were you aware of anyone who may have a beef or a grudge against Mr. Craig? Daryl was a nice guy as far as I'm concerned. Hmm. I mean, he may not be on the best terms with everyone. You got a name for this everyone? No, but it's no good girlfriend's name. It's Crystal Mack. They live in one egg. And I personally, personally heard him threaten to kill them. You come by her again and you'll talk to my nine. That's a big word. You better hope you kill me. I will. I mean, well, since we're on the subject, if looks could kill... Crystal's daddy, Avery, would be on trial for murder one. Hmm, I know, that's right. When he saw Connie with Daryl, they got his blood pressure way up. He was itching to take it out of him, Daryl. I mean, itching. You don't want the same Connie that just went inside? Mm -hmm. yeah. Connie Mack. So her and Daryl were friends. Friends with benefits would describe it. Yeah. Okay, well, you know what, ladies? Thank you. You've been a big help. And there's anything that you think of, big or small, day or night, give us a call, okay? Thank you. Detective, you make sure you talk to Mamie up there in 3A. She know more than me. Yeah, 3A. Thank you. I hear you, okay? We have to step the gas on this when that comes from downtown. Okay, but what's the deal with that? I mean, you know me. I work my case the way I work my case. <laughs> Not this time you don't. The deceased family wants the remains released on religious grounds, okay? Turns out his body's got to be laid to rest in like three days or his soul can't get into black Hebrew heaven. There's no way we can process the body and get it in here in time. Okay, well your fight is not with us, okay? These orders come from downtown. All right, partner, but how do we fast track a murder investigation?
What is it with him and that bitch? Excuse me. Excuse me. Miss Crystal Mack? Yeah. Detective Anderson and Thomas are ready to see you now. Oh, well, it's about time. Good afternoon, Crystal. Thanks for coming down here today. What y'all want with me? Well, we'd like to ask you a few questions about Daryl Graham. Is that okay with you? Yeah. What do you want to know? Well, let's start with, uh, where's Slim? We asked the both of you to come in. Slim is at work. Now, are we here to solve Daryl's murder, or are you just here to harass me and my fiancé? Oh, Jesus. Ain't nobody here to harass you or your fiancé. You see, we're actually here to catch the person that did this horrible thing, so do you or do you not know who might have killed this man? Hell yeah, I know who did it. My stepmother, Connie Mack. Once a murderer, always a murderer. Well, come on now. She doesn't even have as much as a traffic ticket. Yeah, well, that's because nobody wants to listen to me. We're listening. Connie killed my mother six years ago. And now Daryl dies the same exact way. I think I would say that's a little more than a coincidence. How many suicides do you know in public fire? Hmm? Come on, y'all can't be taking this junkie serious. I had nothing to do with that fire. You know, if you don't believe me, why don't y'all call the investigating officers in Nassau County? We already have. They're sending the file over. So, why is your stepdaughter so sure that you killed her mother? She thinks I did it to steal her father from her mother. But he had already told her that he was leaving her. He just didn't know the woman was so unstable that she would take volume to overdose. So where do you think the fire came in? She doused her comforter with a WD-40 and put a lit candle at her feet. It's all in the report. She was dead from the pills before the bed even caught fire, y'all. I mean, come on. I was at work when the whole thing went down. I see. So how does uh, Mr. Mack know about all this? He knows I wasn't involved. That's why he married me. Where is Mr. Mack anyway? I'd be surprised if your husband's not down here. I don't know. We're separated. Mr. Stevenson. Hey, Mr. Stevenson. Hold on for a minute. I'm Detective Thomas, and this is Detective Anderson. We just want to ask you a few questions. My word on the street is that you weren't really too fond of Daryl Grant. Man? Not too fond of a lot of people. Including cops, and I don't speak pig Latin, so what's your point? You might want to chill out on that attitude, my brother. Okay, well, unless I'm under arrest, which clearly I'm not, if you got any questions for me, you can contact my lawyer. In the meantime, I got someplace I need to be. Excuse me. You don't want to do that. Good day. You too. Okay, so um, this Ben fellow was banging on Mr. Graham's door and threatening him. Why? He said Daryl turned his son into a reprobate. Excuse me? A sissy, honey. He said he was going to kill the man in 3B because he made his son a sissy. Kill that son of a bitch! And then the son come hollering at 3B, too. Okay, so what happened after that? Was there some type of confrontation? Benny ran off crying. That poor child. So many problems. Still, I thought y'all should know. Well, thank you, ma'am. So what you think? I'm gonna get a reward? Yes, I said I wish he was dead. And you, I meant to what I said about him killing. So where were you when the fire broke down? On the roof. I was beginning to sober up when I heard the alarm go off. I mean, I didn't think much of it at first because kids pull the alarm on the regular all the time. Then there's a lot of commotion coming from the street. We got a body in apartment 3B. We need more help. What you said. We have a sworn affidavit from an early responder. 
don't understand. Why are you asking me about that? Well, several of your neighbors indicated that you were present when these threats were made, ma'am. Of course they did. Yes, Ben did threaten him. But so did that character on the first floor, Slime Slim, whatever his name is. But you know what? I don't see you all checking him out. We're investigating all these. Really? Is he here? Ma'am? All I'm trying to say is... We already talked about it. No, you talked about it. Not in the grease, so we're going to finish our discussion. Finish. In the car. Murder. Ben? Really? I mean, you actually showed up early. Yeah, well, I don't have much time, so... Well, why am I even here? I mean, don't you guys have a confession? Doesn't that make this a closed case? Maybe, maybe not. So you don't believe Ben killed Daryl? Uh, listen, Connie, I don't know. But who am I to question a confession, right? I'm just trying to think this through. Just trying to process it all. That's so... Actually, you know what? You might be able to help me with that. Yeah. Because you never mentioned the fact that you were having a relationship with Mr. Graham. I don't like it when people leave out specific details, Connie. It makes my job difficult. Now, Avery Mack was seen in the building. Now, he was seen in the building climbing the fire escape, which you and I both know leads directly to your apartment. So if you got some information for me, Connie... Something you want to tell me like you saw me? I really need to know. Okay, you're right. Avery was there. How come you never told me about this? Because he's a fugitive. And he got money from me. But the police were there just a few days before looking for him. So Some guy from uh, Major Crimes. He said Avery's wanted for armed robbery. What that has to do with this? You know, I all this about the money. He gave you money, you gave him money, what? Look, he gave me money to speed up our divorce, okay? $10,000 cash. He wanted what? it back. And you just gave it to him? He had a gun. What was I supposed to do? It was too much money to put in the bank, so he knew I had it. God damn it, Connie. That's $10,000. He could be anywhere by now. Now, did he reach out to you? Did he try to contact you? He texted me. Look, I didn't text him back. I'm going to keep this phone for a little while. Oh, no, I'm gonna need I said my I'm going to keep this phone for a little while. Are we clear? You paid a bill, too. Baby, you said you was hungry. I didn't say for what. How you holding up? <laughs> Me? How about you? It is what it is. Why are you doing this? You know damn well you didn't kill anybody. I'm gonna need you to leave that alone. How can I just 
leave it alone with a man that I love. My wife, didn't she? What did you say to me? You what? Love. Damn you, the man that I love. Baby, why? Why are you doing this? I mean, what are you, are you trying to take the rap? Oh my God, Ben. Baby, what is that to be done? Daryl didn't die by fire. Nancy, the, the fire was there to cover up the murder. So, so remember how I used to take Benny upstate for the 4th of July, how I taught him how to make fireworks? The investigator said there was an excellent and kerosene and graphite right there. Okay. They searched our apartment. Nancy, you know what we used? To make our fireworks. Right, can I see and gratify it? He's got his whole life in front of him. Nancy. I have to do this. I missed you. Amazing how that is what I'm trying to know. Oh, damn, wait, I almost forgot. Daddy left something in the trunk he wants us to get rid of. What is it? I don't know, but he made a big deal about it, so let's just take care of it. Okay, we'll do it out the week. No, but let's just do nail and get it out the way. Okay. Tell me, you was only here about it. Oh, Look, we used up a lot of energy. I'm scared. I need to eat. Come on, baby. That's the least we could do. We driving this car. Let's just do it now. Shit. Listen, no matter what they say, let me do the talk, okay? Can you kindly step out the pot, please? Why? We intend to search it, sir. Like hell you do. I know my right. Oh, you know your right? Sure do. Okay. And you must certainly know what this is then, right? Get out the fucking car, Jesus. Oh, babe, what's going on? Can you pop the trunk, please? Get out the car. They got water. WD-40. So? Oh, what is this? Whoa. Ha <laughs> ha, check it out. <laughs> you sure are dumb. Oh, this ain't even my car, man. This, this is her father's car. This ain't my dope. Your phone records, well, they were pretty helpful. Seems like your dad is, uh, is pretty good at texting. <laughs> so listen, when you sent him the list of countries that don't have extradition treaties with our government, what you're probably going to know is that you were aiding and abetting a fugitive. And that is a felony. So I'm going to need you to go ahead and send your dad a, a message. No way, I'm not sending my dad out. Nope. I respect that. Our family is family, right? But honestly, if you don't want to spend the next three to five years of your life in an orange jumpsuit, you're going to have to give me something. You're going to have to give me something good. But I already told you about Slim's whole operation. And I'm sure the DEA is very grateful about that, Crystal, but I am not the DEA. So that means that I still got this unsolved murder on my hands. I don't know anything about that. I didn't say you know anything about it, Crystal, but I think your father does. What are you talking about? You already have a confession. Benny's dad admitted to everything. Mm -hmm. Yes, he did. But see, we just got the investigator's report on the fire back in. An accelerant was used. It's a blend of kerosene and graphite, commonly known as WD-40. The same cans that we found in the back of the Bentley press, so the same cans that your pops asked you to get rid of. So, I'm sure it's just a coincidence. So there is also a coincidence that the same substance was used six years ago in your mother's bedroom? Wait. What are you talking about? Are you trying to say that my dad killed my mom? I'm not trying to say anything, Kristen. It's my job simply to report the facts, and the fact is that your father... 
cashed in on a very large insurance settlement. Send him a message, Crystal. That's it. Just send a man a message. Change of scenery. Not here. Just make sure you come back for the wedding. Oh, look, I'm not making any promises. So <laughs> congratulations, you two. <laughs> I better get going. It's Daryl's brother's number. He was planning on giving it to you before he died. I think the both of you could use a new friend. You take care of yourself, okay? You too, okay. All right, guys. I love y'all. Bye bye. <laughs> she probably rushing up to meet that fugitive husband of hers. something I'm going to need from you first. That money I gave you last week. I need it back. And I need it now. The police came. I need my money. I asked Daryl to hold it for me because you I was... Want? I just, the police came here and I didn't want to get the money to Daryl. I was just saying, please. Give my money so me and my wife can get out of here. Baby, hey, just take it easy. Give my money before I shoot you on TV alone. Just give my money. Listen. Man, I'm not going to tell you again. Give my money so I can get out of here. <laughs> Take my chances on the run and go to the cops. I don't care how much I'm trying to get my life together. Nobody's gonna never believe me. Give me your necklace. Yes, give me your necklace. Huh? Tell me you know how to get that thing off your ankle. Yeah, I think I've seen Benny do it enough times to take it off myself. Good. So I'm not gonna lose you because of something he did. And there's something you should know about. You come on, we got work to do. Texting Crystal felt really weird. Yeah, I bet. But they had to be convinced that Avery was still alive, so. Yeah, her last message said she wanted to join him. I just didn't answer. Good. <laughs> Because if I know Crystal, she's already cut herself a deal. Guess we won't be needing this anymore, huh? Baby's phone. I'm lucky I found a beautiful woman to start life over with me. Hmm. Hold up. What? What's this? I got you a little something. A new star? Thank you, baby. This view is beautiful. If you're looking for a man in 
street kitty. He better watch out, he's a hustler and he's carrying Harry. He's got a ass up on his chest, or a David round his neck, and that boy's not playing. Yeah, he's from the streets, but he's a winner. He's a shot to brown block, a no beginner. He's got a ass up on his chest, or a David round his neck, and that boy's not playing. Like there's no regret, you move or get moved on. So we must not forget where we're going. When struggle pulls us back, dig deeper and deeper. Cause we got too much life to live to be defeated. I'm gonna make you cuss. 